in this problem, we're being asked to compute a percentage from a table of values. Um, and they've got a couple of uh, criteria here, and they've split them up in this sort of two by two table. With problems like this, it really helps to read the problem where they tell you how many people are total in the survey. So in this one, it says in a survey, 200 people were asked if they smoke and whether or not they exercise. So that's our total. That's going to be useful. And then just keep in mind when you're trying to find the number of people who do one thing or another, if it's a whole category like smoke or do not smoke, it's going to be the whole column or if it's exercise, the whole row. And you'll have to add those values together. So for example, in A, it says what percentage of the people smoke. That would be all of these people in this column. Um, the people who smoke and exercise and the people who smoke and don't exercise. So 10 plus 38, that's 48. And then to get the percentage, we simply divide that number by the total. So 48 divided by 200 is 0.24. And as a percent, that is 24%. Part B here says, what percentage of the people do not exercise regularly? That's this row along the bottom. So we have to add these two pieces together. And let's see, 38 plus 126, that's going to be 164. So this is 164 out of 200, out of the total, to get the percent. And that is going to be 0.82 or 82%. So that's a little bit of work with computing a percentage from a table of values.